I'm going to do a series of videos on how to blend images to make a hybrid animal. I'm going to start off by blending this deer with this dog photo to make something that looks like this. All right, so before I start, you're going to need the quick select tool, which looks like this in your toolbar. You need to make sure that the plus is selected and put your brush on a hard brush size 35 for this. So what you want to do when you get the quick select tool is drag it over the dog. And when you see the dotted lines, it shows you what you've selected. So go around all the brown fur areas of the dog. And I'm going to zoom in here and try to get that little white space that it selected right next to its nose and ear. So I'm going to need to make my brush a lot smaller to squeeze it in that spot there. So I use the bracket keys and then I'm going to put it on negative. So I use the bracket keys to make the brush smaller, but then I put the brush on negative because I want to take away that selection. So I'm going to click in that white area. If you get an area that you don't want and you want to put it back, just go back and forth between the plus and minus to add and subtract from your selection. And if you have a hard time with that part, just go ahead and leave that little white area. It's not going to ruin, ruin the art. Okay, so now we have it selected. I want to copy it. And I'm going to paste it on my deer. Now I need to flip it to go the other way. So I'm going to do Control T and then go to Edit, Transform, Flip Horizontal. Now it's facing the right way. And while it's still in Control T mode, I'm going to size it by dragging the corner and holding the Shift key. Make it a little bit smaller still so that it's about the same size as the deer's head. All right, and press enter once you want to get out of the control T mode. So I'm going to turn that layer on and off just to kind of see what it looks like. Now I need to get rid of the bat, the deer's ears. So I'm going to go there and get the lasso tool and drag around the ears. Notice how I'm not going into the horizon on the photo. I'm kind of just staying right below its eyes and right above his nose. And then I'm going to get a tool called the patch tool. If you press J on your keyboard, you should be able to find it. It might be behind another tool, so look for that if you press J and open that. So when you get to the patch tool, just click on that area that you selected and drag to the right. And then when you get to the edge, just stop. You can just let go of it and then do it again until the ears are gone. And then do Control D, which is deselect. Okay, so now the deer's ears are not sticking up over the dog's ears. So let's name this layer dog. I'm going to do Control T again and just move it around and rotate it a tad. If you go out to the outside corner, while Control T is selected, you can rotate it and then press Enter. Now I'm going to get the eraser tool and I'm going to put the hardness on zero. This is very important. You want a very soft and big brush. Notice how I have it on 300 and I want to hit just the edge of this. Don't go dragging the eraser right through the middle of the neck. Just stay way far away because you want to leave as much of the dog's fur as possible on its chest while you're blending it. It's better to just take away it a little, a little bit at a time than to try to delete too much. All right, so it's getting close. I need to erase a little bit more of its neck to blend it in. So I'm getting my eraser. And notice how I made the brush size a little smaller now. I use the bracket keys next to the P on my keyboard to change the size so I don't always have to go up in that top left area to change my brush size. It makes it a lot quicker to work that way. So I'm going to continue to erase a little bit more of the dog's neck because it needs to look skinnier like the deer's neck. So you're going to change brush sizes a lot while you're working. So you can just keep your finger on those bracket keys to uh, change the size while you're working. And if you make a mistake, just do Control Z.
I like to use a big brush a lot and put it on the bottom and just barely hit the edge of it. That way it fades better. If you make your eraser too abrupt, then it looks more fake, like it's just cut and pasted on there. If you really want to blend, you need this a big soft brush. And if you didn't know what I meant by the bracket keys, here's a little diagram showing you how you can change your brush size without going into the top menu. It's really convenient to just use the, the bracket keys to make your brush bigger and smaller. So I'm going to cut off a little bit more of its neck. It needs to have a really skinny neck to blend in with the deer. So I'm going to get a really small brush now so that I can really go under its ear. Just keep taking that away. I'm going to go over here on this side and do the same thing. Just keep making it skinnier. It's helpful to turn your layer on and off to see where the deer head is. All right, I'm going to make this a little smaller still. Rotate it a little bit more. Lift up the dog head a tad. Because for it to look like a deer, it really needs to have a long skinny neck. Otherwise, it's just going to look like a fat dog. And press Enter when you're done with Control T. Now I'm going to get the eraser again and hit just the very bottom with a big brush. Get a, the bigger your brush is, the more the fade will be gradual. So if you keep really big brushes and just hit the bottom, you don't want to get too, too high up on the dog though or otherwise you'll erase his face. And you want to make sure it's just erasing the neck. Alright, so now I'm going to get a small brush again and I'm going to zoom in and try to get this part under his ear because his neck still needs to look skinnier. So I'm going to get a really tiny brush now and go in under the ear. Now I can start to see the deer's neck layer underneath and that's looking more, more like I want. So you can see it's important to change the brush size. You can see my brush getting bigger and smaller, but I just keep my fingers on the bracket keys so that I can size it easily. I'm going to keep taking away part of his neck to make it blend. And then zoom out. So we're getting pretty close here. It still doesn't look perfect, so I want to work on it a little bit more. I'm going to show you how to do um, a modified selection. So I'm going to take the lasso tool and drag it around that part of the neck where there's a seam and go to modify, select modify feather and put in something like 25. It doesn't really matter. And what I want to do is lighten that area where the dog's neck meets the deer. So I'm going to go to image adjustments levels. And then I'm going to, this thing comes up and I'm going to take that middle button and drag it to the left. Notice how the dog's neck is getting lighter, so it blends in with the deer's neck better, because before it was too dark. So that looks a lot more realistic than it did before I did that. So there you go. That's how you can blend two images to make an animal hybrid. I'm going to be making a series of videos on these, so you'll learn some more tricks.